Hello. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give a little bit of a minute or two people to log on and make sure that this is working. Connected to the internet. Maybe. Sorry, my internet keeps giving me signs. Okay. Um, is a skipping rope, a band, and a set of dumbbells. So if you have um, a lighter pair of dumbbells and a heavier set, both would be ideal. We're gonna do some upper body and lower body work. So both would be great if you have it. Otherwise, use what you have if you have a duffel bag or backpack or detergent, um, laundry detergent, whatever you have, um, we will make use of. So we'll go over that again in a second, but while we're waiting, grab a skipping rope, a band if you have one, you can do some pull aparts with, and some dumbbells. So that is what you are going to need to start. Okay, so we have some viewers. Feel free to say hi, say where you're from, how it's going, and if you have any questions, uh, definitely write them in and I'll try to respond as best I can. Good, okay. So, today is a total body conditioning class. Yes, yeah, so we are gonna do some upper body, lower body, and some cardio all mixed in together in a nice little package. Um, and then we're gonna finish off with some core. So it's going to be a great time. Um, I'm just gonna read you guys the brief. And again, if you are grabbing some equipment, you'll need a skipping rope, a resistance band, some dumbbells uh, if you have them available to you and all right so in response to COVID-19 PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age health status and physical fitness level are unknown and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class since it's preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises present in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out ACF 98. And that link will also be in the notes. All right, so to begin, uh, just a bit of a class overview again. Um, if you want to play your own music, feel free. I will not be playing any, um, but you are more than welcome to. Have some water handy, um, and then other equipment that you're gonna need, again, is a skipping rope, a band, and a pair of dumbbells, or something of the like. All right, so we're gonna start with a warm up. We're gonna go into a conditioning set, a strengthening set and then a core finisher and then that will be your class for today so again if you have any questions while we're going feel free to add them um, if you have any comments along the way add them in as well and I will try to do my best to answer them along the way or for sure at the end all right so to start for your warm-up we're gonna begin with some plank step backs so I'm just gonna readjust this camera all right so you're gonna start in a nice and tall plank position and step back. Stepping up and standing. Back. Alternating which feet, each foot is coming up first. Continue working through this for 10 reps. Or again, if you've done a class with me, I'll get distracted talking. I forget what we're on. So, moderately, approximately 10 reps. Let's do two more. And one more. Okay, next we're going to do some inchworms. I'll show you from this side, from the screen. So you're gonna have relatively straight legs. You're gonna reach down to the ground and walk your hands out to a tall plank. And walk your hands back into your toes. That's one from this direction. Walking out, nice tall plank towards your hands. Same thing. So 
Make sure at the bottom here that you're not slouching your spine. Keep a nice engaged core, neutral back. Do two more. And one more. Beautiful. Okay, next we're going to some lunge and T-spine twists. So you're going to lunge, so your front shin is fairly vertical, your back leg can go all the way on the ground, and then your hands are going to come on the inside of that front foot. From here we're going to do a T-spine twist. So your, your right foot is forward, your left hand is going to stay planted, and then twist open, looking over that front knee, squeezing the shoulder blade, and then hand comes back down. You're gonna go back into that plank position, switch legs, left foot is now up front, right hand stays down, twist open, and back into the plank. So you do 10 total, or five per side. You can go faster or slower. Again, it's just a warm up. So making sure that all of our lower body, upper body, warm and primed, we're ready to go. I'm gonna be using a little bit of body weight, a little bit of resistance. It's be fun. And let's see one more on the other side. All right, next we're going to some banded um, pull-aparts. So arms come straight ahead, you pull across your chest, keeping your shoulders down and back, and pinching your shoulders together. So this is warming up your lats, and a little bit of your delts. Maybe using both of them. Go for 10 reps. And two more. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time all the way through. So starting with our plank step backs for 10. So, hands down, step back, back, up, up, and stand. If you're feeling fairly warm, you can do a no jump burpee. So, hands down, jump back, jump up. No jump as in no jump at the top. <laughs> jump back, jump up, and to the top. Or again, step it back, back, up, up, stand. Two, two more. And one more. Good. All right, we're going back into those inchworms. So from the side. into our lunge and twists. 
So lunge with your right foot forwards, back leg extended, resting on the ground. Hands come on the inside, left hand is planted, and twist open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Back into that plank, switch sides, and twist. If it's too much to keep going into the plank, you can just do five twists, keeping your foot on the side, otherwise, Get a little bit more movement through it by alternating the sides. So again, if you have any questions as we're going, throw them in the comments. Even if you're doing this at a later date, if you're looking through it and have any questions, make sure you put them in there and we'll try to answer promptly. One more on the other side. Good. All right, and then those pull aparts one more time. Arms straight out in front and pulling across the chest. Again, going for 10. Good. Okay. Grab some water if you have some. I was very smart and forgot mine. So I'll be drinking one after. Okay, so for the next portion, we're going into some hitch training. So high intensity interval training is what it stands for. So they're gonna be intervals of 30 seconds of work and roughly 30 seconds of rest. Um, we're gonna do it, yeah, so we're gonna do five different exercises four different exercises. One of them has two sides of the body. Um, we're doing five different intervals. We're doing it four times. So this section is gonna take us a nice 20 minutes, but you're only working for 10, so. I will demo what our exercises are. You can find the weights that work for you, find the scales that work for you, and then, uh, and then I'll start the timer, and then we'll go through it together. So first one is skipping. So if you do have a skipping rope, awesome. If you don't, that's okay. You can still jump on the spot. So if you do not have a skipping rope, you're gonna pretend you have one. Just jumping in place. Trying to be a little bit rhythmic with your hands. If you do have a skipping rope, then you're gonna do a single skip, <laughs> maybe. Or you can do a double. I'm only doing that because I can actually do them now. Slightly. Okay, so after skipping, we're gonna go into a half kneeling shoulder press. So you're gonna take one of your dumbbells, you're gonna go into a half kneeling pose, and then with this side that has the hip open, is the side that's gonna have your dumbbell. So here, I want you to press up with a three, two, one count down, explode up, Three, two, one, press up. So you're gonna be doing eight, and then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds, roughly, however long. It should take you about 30 seconds to do the eight, and then switch sides after the 30 second rest, and go into your other side. So I'd recommend starting with your weaker arm first, in case you don't quite need seven reps, or whatever your reps you get to in the 30 seconds, and then the other side, match the same reps so that you're not doing more and kind of feeding that muscular balance. So find a weight that you can do for 30 seconds with that slow controlled negative. After that we're going to go into burpees because it's not conditioning without burpees, right? Then it's over. So you're going to do um, a burpee where your chest comes all the way to the ground, press up, feet come up, jump up overhead. I'll show you from the side. Chest comes down, press up, feet jump up, you jump up. Or, modification, you can do what we did for a warm up. So you're gonna go into plank, step back, stand up, or plank, jump back, jump in, and stand without having your full chest on the ground. So that's your options for the burpee. Um, for that one, we're doing time, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds rest after that, and then dumbbell lunges. 
So with the lunges, you have options. You can either hold them at your side and lunge forwards, or you can hold them at your side and step backwards. Either way, I want your front chin to be fairly close to vertical. All right? Or you can also hold the dumbbells in the front rack position, or for more of a challenge, overhead. So, if you have the shoulder stability, feel free for that one, or the front rack, or at your side. Any of those will work. Okay, those are your five exercises with five different intervals. We're gonna do a 30 second on, 30 second rest for all of those. I'm gonna go through it four times. So make sure you have some water handy so during your rest periods, you can grab some water. I'll get my handy dandy timer here set up. And then we're gonna start with skipping. So get your skipping rope ready. All right, we'll have a three second count down here. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds of either skipping with a rope or jumping on the spot, tiny butt kick, whatever works for you. Halfway, 15 seconds. Next, we're going into your single arm shoulder presses. So, choosing a weight that you have available to you. Um, start with your weaker side, for me that's my left side, and kneel down so that your front leg is ready. All right, one, and three, two, one, and press. With a three second lower. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. If you have a heavier weight today, that's all that you have available to you. That's okay. Um, you might just have to shorten or do less reps or speed up your descent. That's gonna be your harder part here. So ideally try for that three second lower. Two, one. One. Sorry, I did not hear the time. All right, we're rest, and then we're gonna switch sides. We're all because I was talking to that. Crank it up. All right, five seconds. Going to the right shoulder or your more dominant side. Hopefully, you're counting your reps and try to match that on the other side. Up, three, two, one, up. Keeping your shoulder neutral, or the dumbbell neutral and close to your ear, or turning out and then turning in, coming in at a 45 degree angle. Both are gonna be fine on your shoulder and rest. All right, next one we are going into is your burpees. That's great. So in 20 seconds, we're gonna jump into the burpees. Whichever variation works for you, we're going for 30 seconds. So choose a pace that you can maintain for all 30 seconds and choose a scale. So one of the options that I've given you earlier um, that you can maintain again for the 30 seconds. Two, one, and go. Chest comes down, up, and jump. You can change your pace for this one fast or slower. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. And then 
into our lunges. So grabbing some weight. Here we're doing 30 seconds. Just alternating, alternating legs. So again, on your side, front rack or overhead. Five seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Trying to get that front shin vertical. Stepping forward or stepping back. Either one, just fine. If you have knee issues, you might find it easier to do the reverse lunges and scale back the weight. Two, one, and rest. Okay, set one done. Three more times. So, back to your skipping rope. Grab some water if you need. All right, we got 10 seconds. And let's see if I can skip the whole 30. All right, three, two, one, and go. Did you get 10? 
Did you beat me? It's possible, but that was hard, so. Good job if you did. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds, and then we're going into our lunges. So, if you tried holding at the side, see, this time you can hold it in a front rack position. And go. Alternating sides. Getting that front shin vertical. Knee tracking over your toe. Not wobbling in or out. You're nice and neutral. All right, even it out. Three. Two, one, rest. Well done, guys. Two sets done. Grab some water. I'm really regretting not having mine. Okay. I'm gonna go back at the top. So back into our skipping or whatever cardio variation you have available to you. 10 seconds. We're halfway through. We're done two sets. And two more to go. Two, one, and go. Again, you can use your body weight, jumping in place, high knees, butt hips, toe touches, or double unders. into your shoulder presses. I'm feeling mine, but it could also be that I put these yesterday. <laughs> okay. 10 seconds. Starting again with that weaker shoulder, ideally, and hitting the same rep range on the other side. Hopefully the same rep range as last time. And go. Three. break through these. Make sure it's short. Hold it pretty close so you can bring yourself back into it really fast versus setting it down. Three, two, one, and rest. Onto our other side. Same thing, same reps, same tempo. You can probably tell when I'm talking. I'm not counting, but hopefully you are. All right, we got another 10 seconds. I have a screen blocked out. All right, three, two, one, go. Three second lower, two, one, three, two, one. You're gonna press your elbow out at a 45 and bring your um, elbow bit close to your ear. That works as well. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, lunges. This time you've tried holding it at your side, front rack. Um, I should also say if you only have one, you can also hold it in a goblet hold or this position. But if you want to do some overhead ones, you can do it still with one. And try it with two. Okay, three, two, one, and go. So keeping it close to your ears if you're overhead. You're really gonna feel your core stabilizing you. Shoulder stability. You might have to go a little bit lighter than last set. If you're paying attention, mine are a little bit lighter than last time. I can't fail on camera. Almost there. Three, 
two, one, and rest. Nice work, guys. Okay, burpee time in 15 seconds. Again, grab water as you need. Let me know how you're doing. If you're on here, say hi. All right, we got 10 seconds. Okay. Into those burpees. See if you can beat my 10, two, one, and go. Whatever variation works for you, works for me. Try to push yourself. Let's go a little faster. Faster than you want to. Go for one more. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Okay, lunges. No. Are we on lunges already? I'm really feeling like I missed something now. Huh, okay. Lunges. Okay, let me know if I'm missing something because I really feel like I am here. Anyways, mind blank. Did I? I forgot skipping. What am I doing? I totally forgot where I'm at. I'm sorry. All right. Going to lunges anyways. <laughs> oh man. We're doing this completely backwards. I'm sorry guys. This is where my brain is. If somebody is watching and wants to correct me on where I'm at, I would appreciate it. Yeah, so that was supposed to be skipping? I don't know, I'm really confused. Sorry, you guys. Huh. No. Sorry for... Yes, okay, let's do shoulder presses. <laughs> wow, I totally had a brain fart. All right, eight seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. All the way overhead, three second tempo down, and back up, exploding up, your explosion up, might not feel as explosive as at the start when we're fresh, that's okay. Three, two, one, rest. Other side in 30 seconds. Again, take a breather. Apparently, I really need it. It's like an odd thing. <laughs> okay, 20 seconds here. Whew, a couple deep breaths. Again, grab some water. Stay nice and hydrated. 10 seconds. Oh, you guys are sweating. Sorry. Definitely am. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one. One up, three, two, one up. All right, sorry guys. 15 more seconds here. Two, one, and rest. Nice. Okay, guys, you're going to hate me, but now we're moving back into burpees. <laughs> Man, I have no idea what happened there, but I had a total time lapse of what happened. So, 18 seconds. We're just going to go to 20 minutes. Burpees here are next in 10 seconds. Again, choose what variation works for you. Three, two, one, and go. So, you can do plank, step back. Stepping up like we did for warm up or jumping back, jumping up and standing or chest touches up and jump up. You got 10 more seconds, a few more. Whatever variation works for you. Three, two, one, forward. Okay, 
my timing says that we have one more. So we're gonna go into our sunbell lunges. Yes. Okay. Whichever variation works for you, single dumbbell, double dumbbell. I'm gonna do a goblet held on here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So we're gonna do lots of variations as we've gone through it. Find which one challenged you the most in a good way and try and do that one. So if you do only have one, you want to try that overhead. It's even harder. Actually, I don't know if it'd be harder with one. That'd be harder with two. But you are unilateral. And rest. Okay. Thanks for being with me, guys. <laughs> oh man, what a day. Okay. Grab some water. I'm gonna go into a nice strength finisher and then a core finisher and then you'll be done for the day so this next one while you're grabbing your water cooling or not cooling down but uh, catching your breath we're gonna talk about the next two exercises so okay the timer finished okay um so we're going to go into eight push-ups eight lying tricep extensions and then eight bicep curls so choose a weight that will work ideally um, for both the bicep curls and the tricep extensions. If you have the freedom to choose different weights, then great. If you're using the same ones, that is fine as well. I'll show you um, variations for if you only have one dumbbell or if you have two. So for the push-ups, if you did my class on Tuesday, you would have done these, or Monday? I don't know. You would have done these as well. So our options here, I'll show you from the side so you can see my back. Whatever option you choose, I want to make sure that your back is staying super stiff like a board, nice and straight, neutral spine, and core is engaged. So our options are a push-up from your knees. So with this one, you know, lower down. I want you to lower down, keeping your elbows coming out at a 45 degree angle. Chest touches and press back up. If your chest can't touch, or you do, and then you collapse, and then you like warm back up, I would rather you try to break 90 degrees and come back up, or fully lower, press back, and back down. So, whatever option breaks for you there. Or you can do it from your toes. Nice tall plank. Lowering down and pressing up. Or if you have a box or a bench or a step, you can do it from an elevated position um, from either your knees or from your toes, keeping again a nice neutral spine. So for that one, choose one of the options that you can do eight reps um, consistently, so without breaking them up. After that, lay laying tricep extensions. So if you have two dumbbells, grab two, and then lay down on the ground. You are going to have your feet planted, arms overhead, and then you're going to bring the dumbbell heads towards your uh, shoulders, keeping your elbow relatively stiff. So I just don't want your elbow to come back and pulling up or become a press. It is a lying tricep extension. So if you have two, that's an option. If there are two where they're heavy, just take one of them and do a skull crusher, which, same thing, your elbows at the pin point, but the dumbbell's coming to your skull. So, you know, don't drop it. Or else it's a skull crusher. If you are a little bit nervous, bring your arms a little bit more overhead so that it's a little bit drop behind you, but honestly, you'll be okay because now you're forced to bring it back up or find a lighter weight if that is the case. So those are your two options there. And then we're going into bicep curls. So, again, if you have two, you're gonna start with them at your side, curl up and lower it down from a side angle. My elbow 
is staying fairly in, in about the same spot. So I'm not <laughs> swinging it up. I'm trying to keep it fairly rigid, etc. Um, other option, if you just have one, would be to do say four and then four. So that would probably take you about the same time. Okay, um, other option, I guess, if you have a heavier dumbbell, but just one, you can have both uh, elbows in and curl it up towards your chest. So we'll work with whatever you have. All right, so those are the three exercises. We're gonna superset them. So we go from push-ups right into your tricep extensions and then right into your bicep curls. And then you're gonna rest for 60 seconds and we're gonna do three times. All right, are we ready? Okay, we're gonna start with push-ups. So clearing some space. I'm gonna go for eight reps. All right, three, two, one, and go. Chest ideally touching the ground, pressing back up without worming your back. Four. Some water. Um, make adjustments if you need. So right now, if you have any questions, send them my way, and I will do my best to answer them right now. If you have questions later, also feel free to add them, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Yes. Yeah, so adjust your weights if you need. Whew, this is a nice rest compared to the minute rest that we were getting. So we're gonna do two more sets of these. Eight push-ups. If the push-up skill that you did, if you did it from your knees, was too easy, it was no problem. See if you can find um, a box or a step, a ledge, something that's um, a little bit taller. Trying to still get your chest to touch and back up. Ten seconds. We're gonna go again. Um, or you can always go from your toes as well. So three, two, one. And 
eight. And into our bicep curls. Okay, I'm from a standing position, alternating, or at the same time, and go. Showing you the alternating version. Again, keeping fairly rigid, not swinging like a bro. Try to keep that elbow in place. Going for eight total. If you're doing it at the same time, trying to beat me to eight, that's dandy. And I lost count, so it's a good time. Three. top with your push-ups for one more time and then we're gonna go into a nice core finisher yeah for the last little bit of time we have so you're in for some fun still get this timer ready to go nice how are we doing feel free to say hi don't be shy good all right, got another 20 seconds here. Make sure you are staying hydrated, drinking lots of water. I really say this because I wish I had water on me right now. <laughs> and I've been working on drinking my water. So it is good for you. All right, going into those push-ups. Last set, so really challenge yourself on whatever variation you choose. Five seconds. body to two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Whew, okay. Shoulders, arms should be a little bit sore. I really feel mine, so hopefully you feel yours. Okay. We are going to go into a core finisher. So again, grab some water while I demo what these are. We're gonna start with a hollow rock, either a rock or a hold, um, or a log roll. And we were talking about these in the office yesterday, and apparently the name, according to Brad, is a Superman suntan, which I do quite enjoy the name, it's fun. So we're gonna do some Superman suntan. So what that looks like, I'm gonna show it your side. So you're gonna start in a Superman and then you're gonna go into a suntan. So starting on your stomach, arms are overhead, legs are together. I want you to squeeze your butt so your legs come off the ground and squeeze your shoulder blades so they also come off. So this is your Superman. You're gonna roll into your sunset. Ideally, without pressing on the ground and keeping your toes from touching the ground. So, that is a challenge. 
We're gonna do 15 second intervals. So 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Three times. Um, and then I'll show you the next two after we finish this one. So books on one at a time, because I think that's all my brain can do today. <laughs> so, okay. 15 on, 15 off for three sets. Now this time we're ready. So if you can do that, I have to show you some other options. If you not can't, because that is quite challenging, you're gonna hold just a hollow rock position or a hollow body position. So for this one, you're gonna start by laying on your back, bringing your knees in so that just above your hips. And then I want your shoulder and your head to raise, chin tucked, arms down. Keeping my back pressed in, crunching up. So that's gonna be your hold. You can also do this with your legs extended and arms overhead or drop. So that's gonna be your options there. Choose what works for you. Or you can join us in attempting to do some sun, Superman suntans. So, ready? Starting on your stomach. Two, one, and go into a roll. And Superman. Suntan. Superman. Suntan. Superman. And rest. Okay. That's at one. We got two more times. All right, and three, two, one. I'm gonna start in sun tan. Superman. Sun tan. And Superman. Nice and rigid. Two. go in to some side planks with knee drives for our very last core exercise. I don't think I've turned for another one. So this one, you're going to go into a side plank with your elbow stacked beneath your shoulder and um, both the legs are going to be stacked here ideally and then I want your top leg to come up and to a knee drive. Or you can do this with your knee bent, still driving that top leg. So again, we're gonna do 15 seconds on each side. Okay, ready? Two, one, and go. Driving that top knee, stacking your shoulders. Five more seconds. Two, one, rest. Switching sides, other shoulder comes down to the ground, stacked to your shoulder. All right, in three, two, one, and go. Driving that top knee, keeping nice and balanced on your bottom. Two, one, rest. Okay, now come to the other side. Okay, five seconds. Three, 
two, one, and go. So if your bottom knee is bent, you can still get that drive with your knee. Three, two, one, and rest. Other side. Should we feel your obliques here? Alright. Three, two, one, up, knee drive, and back. Might also be feeling your glutes, which is also good. Keep that hip up nice and high. Almost there, guys. Let's go for one more. Two, one, rest. Okay, one more set of each, and then I'll call it a day. Okay. Pin. Five more seconds. Two, one, and go. Woo! The button. Stay with me. Let's go for three, two, one. Rest. Nice. Well done, guys. Okay. Make sure you grab some water. Leave any feedback that you have, any comments, questions, any of that stuff. Throw it in the comments if you have some right now. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. And if not, I'll answer them at a later time. So, thanks again for joining me and. Uh, we will see you soon. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys.